when you look at successful people, they tell unrealistic stories. Don't be realistic. Be 4D unrealistic. How about the past? You can't change that. The only thing that you can change is the future. The transcendence that transcends time when someone succeeds. There's actually a lot of realistic people. But being too realistic is not really that good. Do realistic or unrealistic people have a higher chance of success? If you look at successful people, most of them tell unrealistic stories. Lines made by moving dots are called one-dimensional. When this line moves and makes a side, it's called two-dimensional. As the side moves and makes a space, this is three-dimensional, uh, also called 3D. What goes into this concept of space is that it takes time. When time is added, this becomes four-dimensional, but most people live in 3D. If you want to transcend dimensions, you have to go from 3D to 4D, right? But there's even 0D people. There's nothing but themselves, and they have no ties to anyone. Some people only associate with a tiny few. They don't care what anyone else thinks. As long as they have their close friends, they don't really consider anybody else. These are 1D people. 2D people will notice the people around them in relationships. They will at least look around them and take note of other people's opinions. So if you do that, you're at least a 2D person. To be a 3D person, well, here's what you need to do. Don't just think about associating with people at your own level. Look at things from a different dimension. You're not just thinking about relationships between partners. If you think about the relationship from the perspective of the sponsor, the company, and people in society, then you're thinking in three dimensions. Being 4D means you're able to reflect any thoughts and opinions of people from different levels from you. Then you've become 3D, right? But instead of thinking of just your own current state, you can add the concept of time. Think about how you're going to turn out in 50 or even just 20 years. Then you're thinking 4D thoughts. So, let's go from the present space here all the way to the future. If you add the concept of time to this present space, it becomes the added factor in going to the future, right? Then we have the ability to go to the future. But if you only look at reality, then it can be very frustrating. If you're in your 80s and 90s with no money, you can also be sick. And you can face problems like this. In order to solve this problem, while you're not that old and still have some time, you go to the future with your thoughts. Your thoughts. Right now, it's almost impossible for you to earn $50,000 or $100,000 a month. Sometimes it is possible. Mostly, we're trying to drastically change reality. How? By winning the lottery or so on. Gambling, betting, things like that. In those cases, Failure and doom have a much higher probability than success ever will. Changing reality right away is extremely hard. So what about the past? You can't change the past. 
The only thing you can change is the future. You can't be realistic. Don't be realistic. Be 4D, unrealistic. People around you should be saying that you're a mad genius who lives in 4D and that they have no idea what you're thinking. 5D is the space where 4D bends. The origin of the beginning and the end. This is where Alpha and Omega meet. This space bending is what Einstein described in his theory of relativity. When space bends, the concept of time changes. So, when the starting and finishing spaces meet, it starts as soon as it's over, and vice versa. We can bend the space of the future and bring it into reality. So you have to live in the future now, right now. Think about your future successful self with no financial worries at all. You can go wherever, whenever, and live anywhere you want. You can give people in difficulty hope and courage and get respect from and give to the people around you. You have to visualize your future self and bring it to the present and live that way now. Through your thoughts, then your attitude will change. Thanks to that changed attitude, we get the momentum to succeed. You take your successful life and write it in your life scenario. Write it so that if it really did come true, you would go totally crazy. You have to set a goal where you could die happy if you could just become like that. Among the successful people who have written life scenarios, the ones who said they couldn't sleep succeeded the most. I hope that tonight you write down what kind of life you want to live. You need to make good use of this transcendence that transcends time in order to succeed.